high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness, how to stay current and relevant. This be my story. Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to the Dangle Beaker channel. This is Miguel, and if you haven't noticed, we're not actually playing a game this video. This is my first tutorial video that I want to do. I've learned a lot of things regarding Photoshop, Premiere Pro, a lot of things, a lot of things, you know. And so I kind of want to share my knowledge with you guys. So today, I'm actually going to show you something a bit different. If you're wondering how I record my videos um, on the Xbox, Actually, I actually use um, free software that came with the um, Xbox, and, the, and it is only actually for um, Windows 10 PCs. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of stuttering. I'm kind of tired today, but it's all good. But it comes with your Windows 10 PC once you do an upgrade. And yeah, you see my background. Yeah, I'm not gay. Yeah, I know. I have nothing against gay people. I'm just saying I've been called gay because of my background. I really like my background, so I don't see what's wrong with it. So. Yeah, let's get right into the video and see how this works. So, first thing you're going to have to do is have your Xbox on and sign into an Xbox account that has Xbox Live. And once you do that, um, you will you can just go over here to the um, Windows, click the Windows button on your computer, and that's my wonderful thumbnail, and click the Xbox or simply look up on your computer, um, just look up Xbox, and it should come up. So, that's one way. And so, yeah, I have it right here, so we just simply boot it up. And sorry if you're seeing some frame drops. OBS has been messing up. I'm going to fix it soon. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with it. But, uh, yeah, you see, like, there was a slight frame drop right there. So, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, so all you're really going to have to want to do is go to your settings. Once you're at your settings, just simply go to... um. On Xbox One, you're gonna have to you're gonna want to have to set your video recording level to high so it really looks nice, but you can really set it to whatever you feel is your need. But over here is where everything is all your quality is really gonna matter. So, audio is only going to record your actual um, game audio. If you wanted to record your audio, you'd have to use a headset plugged into your microphone, or you could use something else like Audacity or something else just in general. You could use or it just really depends what you want to use but um you could the game bar is another part of um windows 10 which also allows you to record a bunch of other games windows specific things you want to record but i i don't use it i have action obs and all that stuff for that but over here when once you're over here you're going to want to have to set this to high high so it looks really nice because once you set it to high, your clips look amazing. Trust me, guys. You don't need a $160 capture card to be able to record good content. And so, once you're there, just click record audio when I record game clips so it records that. If you have a headset, great. Plug it into your mic if you don't have a microphone. But then all you, it's really easy, actually. Then all you have to do is set your um, hotkey so you can bring up the game bar once you're streaming. And so, I actually don't use a TV to record the stuff. You're wondering, then, how the hell do you record it, Miguel? Well, all you do is simply just hook it up to your, um... It does it wirelessly. Keep in mind, you are going to want to have to have somewhat decent, decent of a download and upload speed so it can handle it. Because this all relies on your network. So, once you're here, normally you'd click on Add a Device. Then, if your Xbox is either plugged into Ethernet to your um, network or Wi-Fi, it should show up. I already have it here, so all you do is after that, click on it. And all you have to simply do is click stream. Then you're going to get a little not notification here that says, usually, oh, right here. There are no controllers attached to this to the PC. If you want to attach your controllers to the PC, great. If you just want to use it like normal, that's also good. You just click continue, and voila, you have your actual Xbox One on here. And it's really nice, actually. And all you have to do to record is... Um, either bring up the game bar using the Windows key and the letter G, which um, should bring up this little box down here. And so this is basically to tell you, okay, record. You start recording, and then you're going to get, that's going to go, it's going to go in a few seconds, and then you're going to get this little notification. This will not appear in your videos, and I'm sorry for the frame drops in the video. I don't know what's going on, but I will stop it. So, those will just appear on there while you're recording. 
and um, it will not show up in your video but it will actually um just be there for you to know reference how long you've been recording or when you need to stop recording but this thing can record up to two hours and you have to start the recording again you can set that up in the settings again I say but um that's really all and you can seriously just like literally I'm serious boot up a game and start recording and it's it's really nice really simple and it's extremely good quality and I'm gonna show you a clip so yeah watch the clip and I'll be right back alrighty guys so right now we're actually in the Xbox one recorder I'm no longer using OBS and as you can tell it's really smooth I'm gonna load up GTA but for you guys to be able to um depict what type of quality you want in your recording because it will depend on your um, connection let that go by so do you see this little symbol up here that is basically the quality of your stream of how what you're streaming to your monitor so keep in mind this will actually record to your monitor resolution most typical PC laptops are 16 1600 by 900 resolution some are actually starting to get 1080p which is nice some are 720 but it will record at the monitor your resolution of your monitor I'm actually on a full 1920 by 1080 monitor so that's why the quality looks really nice so I have it on high which is plenty but if you really are, if you really want to get the best quality you won't get those blurry pixels when you move around you click very high it all depends on your network I have the necessary network speed to do this so once it does it just will redo everything and it seriously looks like you're plugged in directly and it just honestly looks amazing and you seriously do not need to spend money on a capture card all you can seriously do is just go over to audacity hit record and bam start recording your content that's this is how i actually recorded my introduction video and that's how aaron recorded his videos that's how we've been recording our consoles in general so i have many other tutorials regarding adobe audition and everything so i'll kind of give you a look around look at this it's smooth it's nice it just looks wonderful and everything is just really nice in general. Let me actually turn down. And keep in mind, if you really want um, it to look good, you obviously have to render in 1920 by 1080. But if you're wondering, what about 60 FPS? Even if you were to get a 60 FPS capture card, consoles do not record at 60 FPS. Every game is at about 30 FPS, so there's really no point in rendering this video. Your video in um 60 fps if you're really not gonna get the, the quality you're asking for and I, it just froze right here because i'm switching it to high so you guys can kind of see the difference oh there we go <coughs> so now it's kind of different excuse the cough but um it still looks perfectly fine it's pretty good but like i said it's all up to you but keep in mind you will have to render at that resolution i do not recommend rendering in 60 fps it's just not worth it <coughs> excuse my cough because it's consoles just don't literally push out the 60 fps so yeah i do want to thank you all so much for watching and oh i just had a cough attack i'm back oh but yeah if you did enjoy this video i do want to thank you all so much for watching make sure to like rate and subscribe and honestly guys if you do want to see tutorial videos i will be more than happy to make up they are a blast to me and honestly just yeah i will catch you all later have a wonderful day and love you all peace out